Welcome to Chaz's Lifestyle. Today, we're making chicken and waffles. In a bowl, you're gonna add an all-purpose flour. And I will have all my ingredients listed down below in the description box. Next, I'm gonna add in sugar. A little pinch of salt whisk that until everything is incorporated as you're whisking add in some heavy cream I'm adding in a little bit more flour to thicken my batter up. You want it slightly lumpy and that will help with having fluffy waffles. Next, I'm gonna add in a little bit of melted butter two egg yolks, vanilla extract. Fold that in gently. Thick, beautiful batter. Next in a bowl, I'm gonna mix my egg whites. And you want your egg whites to be room temperature so they can come out very fluffy. Continue to whisk really well. Um, I was in a rush, so I didn't whisk all the way, but you can just fold in those egg whites. And at this time, I have my waffle maker preheating as well as my oil for my chicken. I am preheating that on 350. After we mix that in, we're gonna set that to the side, letting it thick up even more. Now I'm taking my clean chicken and I'm going to season it with a, some all-purpose seasoning. You can add more, but since I'm flavoring my cornstarch mixture i don't need to put too much give that a quick toss set that to the side after you wash your hands get a bowl place your cornstarch in a bowl now this is key i use cornstarch for my fried chicken i don't use regular flour and you'll see why i'm just going to season it with a couple seasonings like i said i will have everything listed down below in the description box You can season your chicken to your liking. These are just my ideas on how I like to do it and flavor up mine. After that, you're gonna use a fork or a whisk and whisk that in very well. Next, we're gonna add our chicken pieces to our cornstarch. Mix that really well, pat it in. Make sure the cornstarch is sticking to the chicken very well. After that, you want to really shake off the excess cornstarch. You don't want a thick layer, you want a thin layer of cornstarch. You want to fry up your chicken until they're fully cooked to your liking. Um, I did mine for about seven to eight minutes. Now, once I have my first batch ready, I'm gonna go ahead and move on with my waffles. So I'm adding in some melted butter to my preheated waffle maker. Start with about a half a cup to three fourth cups of waffle mix. You wanna add that to your waffle maker. Now the key is having a good waffle maker as well. We're gonna let that cook. To 
took my chicken out, drained it. Oh my God, y'all, look at it. Crispy, perfect. It will stay crispy. If you need to reheat your chicken, uh, place it on broil on low for about six minutes. Now look at that, it's so perfect. I'm gonna continue on making my waffles. So this was an easy basic recipe. It was an updated recipe from my old video, one of my first videos I posted on YouTube. Um, so if you decide to make this, y'all already know what to do. If you decide to recreate this recipe, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chaz's Cuisine Story. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.